We live in a three-dimensional world. We think in 3D. So to be able to manipulate something in the same space is much more intuitive than looking at two-dimensional photographs. My name is Paul Chapman and I'm the head of the School of Simulation and Visualization at the Glasgow School of Art. Within SimViz, we focus on three main areas, academic teaching, commercial work and research projects. The Definitive Human Project is an example of a 3D anatomical model. We are making every asset in the human body. The thing that makes the Definitive Human different is that we really have pushed for anatomical accuracy over everything else. We work closely with our colleagues at Glasgow University, their anatomy department, and we laser scanned a male cadaver and we kept dissecting it and scanning it and then using this data with other data such as MRI and CT, we were able to use expert 3D modelling skill sets, which we had here, and create this very accurate three-dimensional model that was interactive in real time. The minute we put in a VR helmet and we have a full human body standing in front of you that you can dissect and pull apart, it really just engages the learner and that's how you learn is if you're stimulated. To see an individual standing in front of you, five foot eight, with all of their anatomy interactive is just absolutely fascinating. I can put my head inside the human body and look and I can grab and move things around. I go, oh, right, okay, I got it now, I understand it. In order to create our assets for the Definitive Human Project, we have relied heavily on some extremely powerful PC machines. Having the latest and the greatest technology enables me to work quickly and with a very small team to develop something that potentially could change the world. It's only possible if we're using the best computers that we can get. Working on a project like the Definitive Human Project is important to me because it feels like I am contributing something useful to the world. I really believe that we can improve healthcare with the software. We're going to get it to the people that are learning about human anatomy, the people that are studying in university and medicine. And by using our software, we hope that we can improve their understanding more efficiently and more effectively. And at the end of the day, hopefully improve healthcare.